Hello lovelies. Now you guys know, as far as I'm concerned, meal prep is basically a way of life. So today I wanted to share three amazing feel good cookie recipes that you can meal prep on Sunday and enjoy throughout the week, which I will be honest, as a new mom have come in really, really handy. Now I call these feel good cookies not only because they are gluten free, dairy free, and completely vegan, but they're also packed with nutrition thanks to the combination of amazing nuts and seeds. So I think you guys are really going to love these. The thing I love most about these cookies is that they all start with the same base recipe and then you can get really creative with your mix-ins, which is what I did today. We're gonna start with my classic version of these cookies and then I'm gonna show you two yummy variations that I am really into right now. As with most baking, I like combining my dry ingredients and my wet ingredients separately to make sure everything gets nicely combined. We're gonna start with a ton of feel good ingredients in this recipe. So I'm starting with some oats. To that, I am going to add some almond flour. Now, if you wanna keep these nut free, you can go ahead and use some oat flour instead. That's totally fine. I love almond flour because it's got some healthy fats as well as some protein. For even more great nutrition, we have got some flax seeds, which are full of heart healthy fats and a ton of good fiber. They also are going to help bind our cookies together since we're not using eggs in this recipe. I've also got some chia seeds headed in here, some baking powder for a little bit of lift as well as a sprinkle of salt. And I'll finish this off with a good helping of cinnamon to add some yummy flavor. I'm gonna whisk this all together until it's well combined and then we'll set it aside and mix up our wet ingredients. I'm going to start by mashing my banana into my bowl. I'm using a nice ripe banana. Obviously when it comes to cooking with banana, you know that the riper the banana is, the sweeter your dish is going to be. And since we're not adding a ton of additional sweetener to this, it's nice to use a nice ripe banana. They are cookies after all. Once it's mashed up, I'm gonna go ahead and add some almond milk to this. I'm also adding some agave. That's gonna be my sweetener in this recipe. Both maple syrup and honey are great substitutes here. It's totally your call what kind of sweetener you wanna use. And then finally, I'm going to add a few tablespoons of melted coconut oil. We're just gonna mix this all together until it's combined, and then we'll add our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients and mix those up. And for my final step, I am going to add in my mix-ins, which was actually inspired by traditional trail mix. So I'm adding some dried cranberries to this, some pumpkin seeds and some sunflower seeds. And then we're just gonna give this a good mix. Once that's all mixed up, we wanna let our dough sit for between two and three minutes. The idea here is we wanna give our flax and our chia a chance to absorb some of that liquid. And you'll notice it starts to thicken up just a little bit. Once it's done that, that means it is time to form our cookies. I like doing that by just scooping my cookies onto a parchment lined baking sheet. And because these aren't gonna spread out like traditional cookies, I like using my hands just to sort of push them down and shape them into cookies. Then I pop them into the oven preheated to 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about 18 minutes or so. You'll see the edges will start to get a little golden and they'll be completely set and that means they are ready to be enjoyed. As we know, seeds are incredibly nutritious, so we should all be trying to get more of them in our lives. In this case, we've got flax, chia, pumpkin, and sunflower. That's why I call them feel good cookies. My second variation on these yummy cookies is actually inspired by traditional apple pie. Once again, we are starting with our dry ingredients. So I've got my oats headed into my bowl. To that, I am going to add some almond flour, flax, and chia seeds. Then I'm going to add some baking powder, a little bit of salt, and then this time, instead of using just straight up cinnamon, I'm actually using some apple pie spice, which is a mixture of all sorts of warm, delicious spices like cinnamon, ginger, a little bit of allspice. You can totally buy this at the supermarket, but if you wanna make your own, I have a recipe for that. I will link it in the description box below. Once all that tastiness is in your bowl, you can quickly whisk it together so it's well combined. Then we'll set it aside and get to work on mixing up our wet ingredients. Now for the apple pie version of these cookies, I'm going to do something a little differently. So instead of a banana in this round, I'm actually going to use some applesauce. Now obviously a banana will work here, but applesauce is better because we are going for apple pie flavored cookies. To your applesauce, you can add your almond milk, agave syrup, and coconut oil. Give that a mix and then add your dry ingredients into that. Then it's time for our mix-ins. 
We are going to add in one apple that I've just grated up. I'm also going to be adding some chopped walnuts to this and some raisins. If you are one of those raisin haters, you go ahead and leave the raisins out, but I think they make a really wonderful addition to this cookie. Give that all a stir and let it sit once again for about three minutes. And once it's set, you can go ahead and form your cookies and get them into the oven at 325 for about 18 to 20 minutes or until they're totally set. I cannot get over how amazing these smell. Seriously, guys. They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away. I think cookies are a great way to get your apple on. Don't you? For my final recipe today, I am taking things way over the top with my double chocolate and sea salt version of my feel good cookies. Come on, the more chocolate, the merrier. They all start with the same dry ingredients. So I've got my oats, my almond flour, flax seed, chia seeds, baking powder, and a little salt. But this time, instead of our cinnamon, I'm actually going to be adding some cocoa powder. That's gonna be our first of our double hit of chocolate. We're gonna whisk that all together and set it aside. Then we will mix up our wet ingredients. We're back to using our banana as the base for this. <laughs> this banana does not wanna open. We're back to using our banana as the base for this recipe. We'll just give it a quick mash. To that, I'm adding my almond milk, my agave syrup, and my coconut oil. Once that's mixed up, we'll add our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. And for our stir-ins, I'm using a whole heaping helping of vegan chocolate chips. What is not to love? Now, you always could add some nuts here or some fruit, like some dried cherries would be really good or some walnuts, but I'm keeping things just pure and chocolatey. No muss, no fuss. We'll get it onto our baking sheet and into the oven at 325 degrees Fahrenheit for 18 or so minutes. And once these are cooked, they are ready to be devoured. But just before you inhale them, go ahead and add a little bit of flaked sea salt to the top of each one. Trust me, you will not regret this, guys. I swear to you. I hope you will give all three of these delicious cookie recipes a try. And if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo, because nothing makes me happier than seeing your kitchen creations. Keep in mind, all three of these yummy recipes are being featured on healthymealplans.com. It's our brand new meal planning site. And if you haven't checked it out yet, I highly recommend you do. It allows you to browse through hundreds of recipes, create your meal plan for the week, and then generate a grocery list in absolutely no time. We've also got some great pre-made meal plans that you can check out. So let's just say there is a lot to love about this site. And finally, guys, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more cookie deliciousness where this came from.